200 subscribers. I've come quite a long ways from 100 subscribers. I mean, that's double. But what's interesting about our channel is I like to see that we've hit 200, knowing that our channel is quite unique. And what I mean by that is we're not just a Let's Play channel. We're not just someone who plays random games, and if you search a popular game, our channel will pop up if you search long enough. Our channel is unique. You've got to find our channel without searching anything specific. The only way people normally find our channel is through like our 1.7.3 videos or to the alpha or something like that. Because you can't just, nobody's searching New Frontier Craft. So it's cool to see that we've come this far to 200 subscribers. And I've got some interesting things to talk about. Uh, first of all, the statistics of this is actually really interesting. I didn't know how much, uh, like, at an exponential rate we're actually growing at this moment. And that is, we hit 100 subscribers after uh, 12 months of having, like, actually posting stuff on our channel. We made this YouTube channel, like, really early, like 2011, and never used it, and started actually posting stuff in the summer of 2013 or something. And then in the summer of 2014, that's when we hit 100 subscribers. But now we've hit 200 subscribers, and we're not in the summer of 2015. We're in the early spring. No, late winter. Late winter? Yeah, it's not spring. Yet. Oh. Um, Despite the tropics. Setting. Yeah, so it, as to taking 12 months to get to 200, we've actually taken 7 months. So uh, it's taken about 0 0.6 uh, or 60% of the time from how it got to 100 to get to 200. And that said, if I multiply 60 again, we should hit 300 by summer. And that's actually uh, growing pretty fast for an exponential rate. Pretty awesome. Yeah. Uh, after calculating a couple more times, uh, I s I'm setting our goal for this year for 500 subscribers. I mean, I honestly think we're going to hit it easy if we keep growing at that rate. We should hit 600 it, by, like, midwinter, but uh, we'll see about that. <laughs> but we can't just kick back and relax and be like, we're getting subscribers. Now, we got to keep on it if we want to get this... Uh, growing a lot faster. So I'm actually going to make you guys an interesting offer, although it's not like I'll completely accept this. I just want to see what is all being offered on the table for our channel right now. And that is, do you guys want to be a part of the Quiz Stones? Like one of you want to make a single, uh, single player series on a new frontier world and just constantly play in that and we'll post your videos on this channel. Uh, why I say I may not completely accept it is either I don't actually like anyone's videos. <laughs> like maybe their microphone is really bad and they just can't help it, or uh, they're too young. I'm not disrespecting the young people, because that makes a fair amount of our channel. But, you know, I want an older voice in a video, kind of like ours. And, I mean, as long as you don't sound like you're 12, I, I, I would... But the other reason is maybe Zexon would actually do one, or Drummer Boy. I haven't really talked too much about this yet, but I just want to see, you know, who would want to do, who would put their heart and time into making a single player, single player series instead of me being like, hey, Zexon, record one. Hey, Zexon, record one. Hey, Drummer, record one. Because then it's kind of like, hey, I'm playing a series. Haha, <laughs> this world's fun. Now, I want to see someone really get into a world. And I just don't have the time for that. I would do that, but I just don't have the time. And that's why I'm looking to see what we have to offer. Or see what is to offer to us. Also, another big question that I'm starting to think of. We have shut down our uh, beta and alpha servers, and the only server we have is New Frontier Craft. But should I code uh, authentication for beta and alpha specific versions, not like all the versions, and host those servers whitelisted? Because so far, our whitelisted New Frontier Craft server with regular authentication has actually worked out pretty well. And maybe we should open up a, a beta and an alpha server with the same thing, if I recode that, in the, just a beta and alpha jar. Should I do that? 
even if I were to make this and then start working on NFC, you know, just maintenance of the server will take up more time. So the drawback would be of developing new Frontier Craft, but then we'd have our beta and alpha server up again. Or do you want me to go full out on new Frontier Craft? So that's a vote down uh, in the description. I'm kind of interested to see what you guys think about this one. Also, for you new subscribers that uh, joined during this week and are like, whoa, this is awesome, this is so cool, I want to be a part of this server, I just want to warn you that New Frontier Craft is far from complete, and it's only like a quarter finished of what it will completely be, and it's kind of niche of who it appeals to at the moment, but if you get into it, you'll really get into it, you just gotta break the surface, and that's what New Frontier Craft is about right now, but I don't have much more beyond that. And you'll see what I mean if you play the server, so just to say. So I just want to recap the past since uh, 100 subscribers to 200 subscribers, what have been the major events since then? And this is just going to be quick, but this is just remembering the major events. Once we posted our 100 subscribers, uh, we still had our main beta 1.7.3 server going. And that really started catching speed after our 100 subscribers video. I don't really know why our 100 subscribers video did really well. Pro oh, probably because we showed our faces for the first time. Um, and then after that, you started seeing my face more often. And just because of I felt a little more connected to the channel to express what was going on and see what the channel thought about it. And then around that time, uh, New Frontier Craft 1.8 was uh, finished coding. So that was kind of big, but the server wasn't really that popular. It was still kind of secret. It was a separate server. The main server was still 1.7.3. And then we had some serious hacking problems on the 1.7.3 server, and we had to shut that down, and I replaced that with a new Frontier server, and I had two beta 1.7.3 servers running in the background after that. So then it wasn't like someone would find our channel and just jump on a 1.7.3. They would have to find the 1.7.3 IP address or a different video of one of those servers. And then uh, New Frontier Craft, after a while of there was peace and it was nice, uh, New Frontier Craft ended up getting hacked by a couple guys. And then one of them turned around to help me develop 1.8.2 and authentication for New Frontier Craft, which really changed some dynamics. And then he turned on us again and started hacking again. And I don't know what his plan was, but uh, that's Probably where we had some time. We never know. It's the internet. Uh, let's see here. I don't know if there was too much since then, because that's about now, because we're, I mean, I have the whitelist and authentication, and you can't really get past that for New Frontier Craft. And we shut down the other two servers, and now I'm wondering if I should turn on some with authentication now. Because the other two servers were constantly getting hacked by that guy and some other people. So, uh, 100 to 200 subscribers is okay. But at least we've gotten here, and it's good to see the growth of the channel. Okay, there's something else I want to quickly add, and uh, first two things is... Zaxxon and Drummer Boy are not going to be in this video. I was hoping to show Drummer's face, but he said he doesn't really want to. Uh, he's also been super busy. There's a chance that we might be recording without him for a little while until he has more free time, like the summer or something. Um, and I've just had minimal time in the past week, which is why we haven't posted any videos. I mean, I, I've planned to post three videos by now, but I've had so much homework I haven't been able to do anything. So here's a little quick thing I want to add to this video, too. Um, there's another vote I want to do, and this is quite an interesting vote. I was starting to think about how I've actually been looking for other people to develop new Frontier Craft with, so then I can start, or we can both start coding it, uh, more often, since it'd be two people, and their two free times instead of just my free time. But of course, that might affect how new Frontier Craft is developed, because it wouldn't just be me developing it anymore. So here's the vote. Would you prefer me to find other people to help develop New Frontier Craft and get updates out faster, although it might affect New Frontier Craft and how it's developed, although it still have the main goal of bringing back old Minecraft, it would be no longer developed by one person, me, or should it just be me to record it? 
if you vote just me, I'm going to take this as an initiative for just me to put my free time into developing it way more. Uh, so yeah, it was, it was just an interesting thought. I was like, you know, if I look for other people, New Frontier Craft's development might be affected from how I plan to develop it. So yeah, there's a vote down below. I mean, I have... I definitely have plans for the next three major updates to New Frontier Craft Full 1.0 on how I'm going to make it. So it might change if I have another person along with me. That's a vote. So yeah, sorry for no videos recently. Uh, I've just had no free time. <laughs> Neither has Zexon. So yeah.